it's crazy. It's really a high speed train. I'm getting afraid. I'm too fast. Hi, I'm Gerhard from the Ref Team. Today I will take you to the five most spectacular Formula One tracks in the world. It's my very personal journey to places where motorsport history has been written. So, where else shall we start than in Monaco? It's my number five of favorite racetracks. I mean, it's not a real track. They just close the streets for a few hours and then they race through the city. And now we enter the Place du Casino. I left Hotel de Paris. It's a crazy ride, chasing seconds. There's a big key that it's like flying helicopter in a living room. Sometimes I get the impression that people just looking for an excuse to celebrate party. On a race weekend, all the rich and beautiful people from all over the world, they come here to celebrate. It was where Lewis Hamilton got a taste of glamour at the beginning of his career. The atmosphere is just unreal on the race weekend. And uh, to be a part of it now as a, as a Formula 1 driver, it's uh, an amazing achievement and just a great experience for me. Nico Rosberg, he managed to win this race three times in a row. Many Formula 1 drivers also live in Monaco. Wonder why? So it's, for them, something really very, very special to win here. Behind me is uh, the party. I'm going there in two seconds right after this interview. It's going to be flat out all the way. I mean, this is, uh, you know, it's my home here. And if, if a racing driver or if I could choose one Grand Prix that I'd want to win, then it's Monaco. I can't believe it. My number four is just as spectacular. It's the home of the Italian Formula One race in Monza. Lesmo Ascari Parabolica corners that wrote motorsport history. The exit of Ascari and now, ooh! Ascari is one of the most, most tricky corners of the whole Formula One. And now we come to the long straights. And Kimi Raikkonen drove here 300 70 kilometers per hour. Monza is the fastest track of the Formula One season. And that's also why so many accidents happen. And so many drivers lost their life. If Wolfgang Graf Berge von Trips wouldn't have crashed in Monza, Germany would have celebrated a Formula One champion in 1961. In 1970, one of the most charismatic drivers of all time died in Monza. Jochen Rind lost his life in the Parabolica because his Lotus had a technical defect. On the 5th of September, I was still a child, but I was crying all day long. Nevertheless, this track has a special fascination. It's the spirit of Ferrari you can feel here in every corner and a lot of charming Italian details everywhere. Most of the drivers live in a tiny little hotel near the track. <laughs> hotel Fossati. It was on the tennis court of Hotel Fossati when Michael Schumacher played soccer with his mechanics in 1997 before the race in Monza. We had a deal with him. We were allowed to film the match but we had to send him the recordings of this match. And I think they were very precious for him to watch his progression as a soccer player. On to my number three, another legend, Silverstone. It's not only the home of British Grand Prix, it's where the first Formula One race ever was held in 1950. The winner was number 12, Gonzalez of Argentina, driving a Ferrari. Abbey, Copes, Chappelle, 
Before you enter Stow Corner, you fly down Hangar Strait. Most of the British Formula One teams have their factories in the surroundings of Silverstone. Just opposite the entrance, a team is based called Racing Point, formerly known as Jordan Grand Prix. The most successful driver was Heinz Harald Frenzen. He won two races in 1999, one of them with a broken leg. This bone was broken. Broken? Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah, it's a fracture. Are you joking? And I hadn't realized. I, I just, I nearly walked normal again. <laughs> so I went to the doctor where he did this MRI on Tuesday. He said, oh, you have three cracked bones, you know? <laughs> That's what I found out when I filmed with him and he came to the factory after the race. And it's a very bumpy, very bumpy, and, and here, what does this yellow flag mean? My number two, tracks that is traditionally one of the last races of the Formula One season. This is one of the reasons why in Suzuka the championship was decided 11 times. You always see the big wheel in front of you. The track is actually in a huge leisure park. The best place to watch the race is from the big wheel. And wherever you look, Japanese fans. Suzuka, this is the most ambitious track. In Suzuka, I had my most emotional moment on a racetrack. It was the 8th of October 2000, lap 40 of the race. Michael Schumacher overtook Mika Häkkinen with a perfect pit strategy and finished first. It was Michael Schumacher's first Formula One championship title with Ferrari, a title the Italian team had been chasing for more than 20 years. It was a great moment. Huge emotions, a lot of passion. Dass ich glücklich bin, denke ich, erwartet jeder. Das ist so. Jetzt wird gefeiert. Yes! Now it's time for a track. It's the embodiment of car racing. Situated deep in the Eiffel Mountains. The Nürburgring, my number one. It was built in 1927 in the middle of hilly woods. And I don't see where I'm driving, you know. But I have no accident up to now. Yeah! 28 kilometers up and down. A really crazy track. Jackie Stewart called it the Green Hell. And it was on this track where the legendary Silver Arrows were born. Before this, Mercedes race cars were painted white. But before the race, the team found out that the construction was too heavy. So they scrapped off the paint and the silver steel became visible. From then on, Mercedes started in silver livery. In time, Formula One cars got faster and faster. I think this is not a track for a Formula One car. In 1976, Niki Lauda's car caught fire after a heavy accident. He was really lucky to survive. And then Formula One stopped racing at the old Nürburgring. In 1984, a new track five kilometers long was built south of it. And here I'm driving now through the Schumacher Alps, a corner named after the German champion. No wonder he won the race five times, more often than any other driver in Formula One. 
And in 2020, this track was chosen to host the German Formula One race. After seven years, again, really a great track. Lap after lap, passing Schumacher S at full speed, almost. All the great moments of motorsport history come to life again.